I have been using the OnePlus 10T phone for about a week now. And in this video, I will tell you everything that is to know about the specs and my personal thoughts and the final verdict. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Ben. In this video, I hope to give you an unbiased review of this phone to help you decide whether this is the one for you. Some of you might be surprised by what I have to say. So be sure to stick around and watch the whole video. Halfway through the year, OnePlus released a slightly downgraded version of their high-end Pro version phones. The question then becomes, is this budget version of the 10 Pro worth considering? Well, I got the phone and I will let you guys get a good look at it through this video. You can decide then whether you like it or not. Personally, I've always looked at OnePlus as an up and coming company that exceeded expectations with its specs and performance at a very competitive price point. But in the past few releases of their phones, the price has been slowly creeping closer to some Samsung and Google flagship mobile devices. But you'll naturally be curious to try out a new phone, especially when a company hypes them up as being the next tech monster. And you know what? I went ahead and purchased this phone with my own money. So this video is going to be an honest and unbiased review and this phone is not sponsored. I'm going to break down this review by parts. I will be focusing on my experience using it for a week now and I will also touch a bit on the specs of the phone because a OnePlus review is nothing without its specs, right? You can also leave your comments below about the phone and I will try to answer them. Let's begin with a quick glance into the specs, appearance and pricing of the phone. You have two color options, Moonstone Black and Jade Green. The Moonstone Black comes with two RAM and storage options, 8 gigs of RAM with 128 gigs of storage and 16 gigs of RAM with 256 gigs of storage. But if you're planning to get the Jade Green version, I'm afraid your only option here in the US is the 8 gigs of RAM with 128 gigs of storage. I picked the Moonstone Black. One of the best things about the OnePlus is that you can always expect to get a good deal when the phone releases for the first time. The 10T is priced at $649 and you get 16 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage. With specs like this, you usually would have to pay more. So this is definitely a plus. Moving on to the other specs of the 10T, you get a 6.7 inch 1080p AMOLED screen, 120Hz of refresh rate, Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 chip, a crazy 125W Super Walk charging capability, which I will talk to you about later, 4800 milliamp battery, 50 megapixel main camera, 4K at 60 FPS video recording, and an IP54 rating, so it's not waterproof. The first thing you're going to notice is that the phone feels rather big in the palm when you pick it up for the first time. It definitely isn't a phone that you can use with one hand, but it's a good trade-off for a phone that has a big screen. Also, the brushed gray aluminum finish at the top and bottom of the phone is something to be appreciated. With this layout, OnePlus was able to redesign its antenna systems to avoid blind signal angles. Another nice thing about the design aspect is the placement of the bottom facing speakers that won't be blocked with your hands when you're gaming or streaming in landscape. And in case you guys are wondering, the speakers are pretty loud. Smartphones are one of the most evolved tech in the last decade. And it our smartphones are one of the most evolved tech in the last decade. Although I'm not a big fan of the back portion of the Moonstone black color, I don't like these glittering lines, but it usually doesn't matter to me because I slap a case over it. I like the new gray case that the OnePlus recently released. Unfortunately, OnePlus will only ship the case in the beginning of October. I hope I don't break the phone by then. As for the camera, it looks like a quad setup but one of these four lenses is a flash. Overall, I dig the look. But one of the most noticeable changes for this one is there is no alert slider, which is stapled to OnePlus phones. The alert slider was one of my favorite parts of the previous versions, and it's very dear to many, including myself, who have been fans of this company. The company is actually receiving slander from users who loved it. After grieving for a while and shedding some tears, I have come to terms that phone manufacturers will start removing features that users are used to. While it might not make sense for most of us, it makes sense for manufacturers as it's more cost effective and then they have the ability to upgrade other parts of the phone like gaining more space for a larger battery which I will get to in a bit. The only real downside is that not having an alert slider means you now have to change from ringer to vibrate only using the volume button 
which can be a drag, but it's not something I'd consider a difficult task. Moving forward, let's go on and scrutinize the face of the phone, the screen. The phone comes in a screen size of 6.7 inches. I will list down the specs on the display while I share with you my thoughts about it. You'll notice that there are almost no bezels on the sides, while the top and bottom part have slightly thicker ones. Then, the AMOLED screen is laid flat, and that is a huge plus. I personally am a big fan of phones that have flat edges as the viewing angles and screen interaction are so much better. You get a hole punch at the center for the front camera, which is neat. I also like the animation that goes around it whenever the phone unlocks with face detection. To the naked eye, the AMOLED screen is sharp. Under bright sunlight, the screen brightness is decent. The OnePlus 10T comes with a 120Hz refresh rate that adapts based on the app. For example, if you are scrolling for a video on Netflix, it will default to 120Hz. But if you start playing a video, it will then change to 60 hertz because you don't really need a high refresh rate when simply streaming. I would also like to add that coming from someone who uses an iPhone, I appreciate the always-on display and of course the customization options. Another cool thing about this is that you have multiple ways to open the screen. Face unlock, fingerprint sensor, pins and patterns. I love how it doesn't just limit you to fingerprint sensors or just the face unlock. It's also great to note that the fingerprint unlock is lightning fast. The face unlock is pretty commandable too. It's so fast that the authenticity scares me. It has never failed me even in dark lighting. By the way, the phone comes with its own screen protector. It's not a tempered glass, but you have to appreciate that they are very generous enough to provide one. So this is a thumbs up for me. Although, beware, it's going to attract lint. There's not much I can really say about the performance, and that's a very good thing. It means that I, as a tech enthusiast, have not much to say about it, aka nothing to fuss about. Just know that with a OnePlus phone, you will always have no lag no matter what you throw at it. When you open the apps, there's simply no lag. And for the gamers out there, here's the great news for you. With the 10T, I assure you that gaming is a total breeze. For the entire time that I've been using it, I didn't experience the phone overheating or even just getting warmer than usual. Not even once. Typing on the phone is usually very quick, seamless and responsive. Actually, any interaction for that matter is lag-free. When I judge a phone, this is a very important part of it. In this area, the 10T gets a grade of A+. Like all OnePlus phones, you get a clean Android experience. Despite that, you can customize everything about the phone to make it uniquely yours. I actually just removed the labels on the app drawer. When you compare it to other phones, you might need a launcher to do that. But with Oxygen OS, everything can be done right then and there. The camera system of the phone is generally okay. In good light conditions, it takes great photos and videos. Even at night, the shots were good when I tested it. But I'll be very honest, if you're someone who appreciates a top-notch camera system like me, this phone is not it. I found that at times the camera really struggled to focus. Some photos and videos also appear a bit too grainy for my liking. Macro pictures were a bit blurry. Only a few were okay. Zoomed in photos were grainy as well. I'm planning to make a comparison video with the 10 Pro where I will also cover the camera aspect. So stay tuned for that. Let me just say this. If you're a heavy user and a phone with a good battery is a deciding factor, trust me when I say you won't regret getting this phone. You are never going to have issues with battery life. Something just doesn't feel right though. There are days where sometimes I have 90% battery left at 1pm after the phone is fully charged at 8am. I wonder if it is a strategy by OnePlus to deplete the battery slowly in the beginning. But then, I didn't see it drastically drop during the day. Another thing noteworthy is that the phone doesn't come with wireless charging capabilities. I usually don't like phones that don't support wireless charging. You guys already know that. But honestly, after experiencing the battery life on this phone, I can't complain. And to make sure no one complains about lack of wireless charging, OnePlus offers a crazy 125 watts super woke charging brick that can charge the phone battery from 0 to 100% in just 19 minutes. OnePlus says 10 minutes of charging should take you through the entire day. And I honestly don't doubt that. You also won't notice the phone overheating while charging. Usually charging speeds slow down as you get closer to 100%. So I tried to test the speeds with around 72% of battery life to see how fast the battery could juice up. I could literally see the percentage increase in a matter of seconds, which is totally insane. 
and so satisfying. Also, let's just appreciate that OnePlus doesn't just offer such super crazy speeds. They also provide a 125 watt charging brick in the box. With lots of manufacturers removing accessories and shrinking the boxes, OnePlus really takes the W with this one. You gotta love the red cable included in this one too. After all of that, what do I really think about the OnePlus 10T? I think that it's really a bummer that some people have totally dismissed this phone just because it doesn't have an alert slider anymore. Or the fact that it doesn't have wireless charging or that the camera system is not good enough. Yes, I wish the phone had all those features. But let's be honest, for $650, can we really expect a near to perfect phone? For that price alone, the specs of the phone already exceeds expectations. And to be honest, some of the things that the phone lacks at, OnePlus tries to make up for it. Like, if the alert slider is removed, you can still change from ring to silent through the UI, just like with other Android phones. I know, it involves a couple of extra clicks. Removing the slider also means more space for a bigger battery, and it certainly proves that it's an all-day phone. Generally, the 10T offers a lot of great reasons for you to consider buying the phone. A lag-free, clean Android experience and 256 gigs of included storage. A large AMOLED flat screen with 120Hz refresh rate for a smooth, responsive experience and super fast unlocking options. A great battery life with insane wired charging speeds, which many don't realize how convenient it is in a busy lifestyle. All of these contribute to a better experience and to many others, this phone should be judged by more than just its specs. As for my final verdict, I would recommend this one for anyone who is a heavy phone user, who wants a great battery life and doesn't want to compromise on the performance. And most importantly, it's perfect for those who don't want to pay a premium dollar for a phone. The OnePlus 10T is worth every penny in my book. Even with some parts lacking, there are other parts that compensate or enhance this phone's practicality and intuitiveness. I'm pretty impressed by this phone. Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are about the 10T. This is Ben from Technologically Curious. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in my next video.